Next tonight, the new imaging technology that gives surgeons a view of inside the heart. It's been used this month for the first time in the UK in operations in Leicester. The hope is it'll improve results for patients undergoing procedures for the most common heart rhythm disturbance, atrial fibrillation. It's estimated the condition affects around 100,000 people in the East Midlands. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons has more. Joe from Oakham is the first patient in the UK to have her heart mapped using the latest 3D technology during the procedure. It was done to treat an irregular heartbeat at Leicester's Glenfield Hospital. For months she'd been feeling unwell. Very tired, breathless, my heart would just race. I'd wake up in the morning like I'd run a marathon and after eight hours sleep you don't expect to be feeling like that, do you? Were you worried about her? Yes, yeah. You've only got one heart at the end of the day. Her condition, AF or atrial fibrillation, is in fact the commonest form of heart rhythm disturbance in the UK, with an estimated one and a half million people affected by it. Untreated, it can lead to stroke and heart failure. It was this, the latest 3D mapping technology, that helped guide Joe's cardiologist to destroy part of the lining of her heart. This image shows part of the inside of Joe's heart opened up like a book. In modern day terms, people may be quite familiar with this because a lot of people are familiar with virtual reality or augmented reality in smartphones or in, in video games. It's a bit like we are actually sitting or standing inside of the patient's heart and seeing these blood vessel structures, the intricate details of the heart in very high definition. It's a catheter probe that produces the new images and it's here in Leicester's cath labs where it's been twice successfully put to the test. We've done two now, um, we're doing two next week, so we're going to learn more about the technology. Well, these new images are allowing the experts to see the heart in ways they've never seen before. And the hope is that these pictures of health will improve the precision of procedures and the results for patients. Things are all good so far. Um, I feel a like hundred times better than I did before. All the symptoms seem to have gone, but um, still on medication. Fingers crossed again that it'll all be, it'll be good. Now hundreds more patients are expected to follow in Joe's footsteps, with Leicester leading a clinical trial involving around 20 centres across Europe. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.